Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be testing out a bunch of products that I have never tried out before. So it's a first impressions video, and I will let you know in the description box below how each item wears, let you know if one of the items failed throughout the day, and whatnot. So in this video, I haven't used any of these products at all, except for this this Eco Tools Beauty Blender sponge. I love this guy. I love it, I love it. Please ignore my nails. I have not had time to go get them done, so just don't look at them. But this sponge is the softest. I don't even have my other ones around me because I'm never gonna stop using this. I like it more than the Morphe one, if that tells you anything, and I'm obsessed with the Morphe one. This was at Target for $8, maybe seven. Best Beauty Blender ever. It's just so soft, and it just, it has this side. This is what I use to do my foundation with. I've already used it. This side I do the concealer with. Sometimes I do a little bit of blending with this side, but I just use these two sides. You can also do a nice contour line. So this thing is just wonderful. But everything else um, is going to be my first time using it except for also the eyebrow pencil. So you've heard me talk about this one already before. But this one is not necessarily a dupe. I don't love it as much as I love that one, but I picked this up at Target a while ago, and I just really, really like it. It's the same kind of style, same kind of idea as the brow blade. It's just the formula is a lot different, so I like the formula of this one more. And then this pen is a lot skinnier and longer, so you can get real hair-like strokes. This is really good for filling in. This one more so making the hair strokes. So like I said, this is not a dupe, but it is a lot cheaper. And if you just really need to fill in your already thick brows, I think this is a good one for you. But if you need to draw on brows, then this one is a good one for you because it allows you to do that. This, I don't think drawing them on is going to be very good just because it's thick and dense. But anyway, this next product that I'm going to show you is by Wander Beauty. It's the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. You gently squeeze the tube to release two to three drops oil onto fingertips and you massage into skin until fully absorbed. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging if you can use this under makeup. I just assume that you could. It retails as $42. I got it in my BoxyCharm though, so good deal for me. I'm very excited to try it. I love face oils. So here's what the dropper looks like. I'll do five. It's pink. I was not expecting it to be pink. I was expecting it to be clear for whatever reason. It feels a little bit tacky, but not too much. We'll see how my foundation goes um, on over top of this, but so far I really like it. The next item. The Healthy Foundation, it's a brightening complex for all skin types, packed with vitamins and antioxidants for a healthy coverage. So it's got, um, it says it's ultra blendable, it's lightweight, buildable, and breathable. It has SPF 20, it's a brightening complex, like I said. Um, this is the Physicians Formula Foundation, the Healthy Foundation is what it says, so I'm assuming it you can build it up to a full coverage. I got the shade MC1, it's been on the shelves for a while, so it's not new so to say, but, oh, I should have done X and then O. <laughs> so it's not new, but it's new to me because I've never tried it. I have never seen anybody try it, so I'm excited to find out. Now going in with the best beauty blender in the world. Let's cover up these zits, please. So normally, I have pump foundations, and I pump the foundation onto the beauty blender, but because that's not the case for this one, I just put it on my face directly. So I am still seeing through it, so I'm gonna have to apply another layer. It smells like a sunscreen, and it seems to be, it's not a matte finish, so it seems to be pretty dewy, so with the oils underneath, it looks like a good combination. I need a lot more, because I'm a full coverage type of gal. And you don't get a lot of, every time you put the applicator in, you don't even get that much out. So you have to keep dipping in. So if you're in a hurry, you might get annoyed with that. I like that I don't see any streaks. I like that it is blending into the skin. Even with two layers, it's still not full, full, full coverage. But a lot of people do like foundations that are not as full coverage, so I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to knock it completely until I see how it wears throughout the day, but so far, it does feel really good. It has a good smell. Maybe I need to put on one more layer to get the coverage I want, and that might make me love it more. Let's just say, if I didn't have as much acne as I have right now, I think I would be obsessing over this. 
I think that my acne is getting in the way and it's making me not like it as much and that's not fair to the foundation. So what I do like about it is the dewiness. I like the smell and I like how easy it blends out. And if I didn't have all these zits, I feel like I would love the way that it's giving me a healthy glow. So this and that primer combined, I do like the combination of. This L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I cannot wait to try this one. I guess we are just doing the wands today. It is Vanilla 355. I like the applicator. This is way too light. I should have got the next shade down. I got the concealer because I loved the foundation like I just said a minute ago. So I am excited to try this with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation that I love. So trying them together but do need to get a darker shade because I think this is way, way, way too light and it's going to look a little crazy. So let's see how it blends out. It's very thick. Whoa, 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 it's thick. Holy smokes. Compared to tape shape, holy crap. Do you see that? Bags, gone. Literally, they just disappeared. Whoa. Maybe it's not too light because it did blend out very well, but on the monitor, I look more white than I do in person. I was using the side of the beauty blender that has the foundation blended into it because I wanted to see if any leftover would help melt it in to the skin. Look at the coverage that that just gave. I am in love. I know I look crazy because I don't have anything on my eyes or my eyebrows, so I look, I look a little bit cuckoo. But whoa, 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 I'm gonna put it on my zits. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get a shade darker than this. And then I'm also gonna get a super dark shade so I can contour my face with this. So I'm gonna do a video on contouring, concealing, and wearing the foundation. I'm blown away. I'm so happy right now. OMG. So it is creasing. It has already creased but that's because it's so thick that's to be expected. But I have a new powder to try. It is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I am so excited about this. It says, keep me closed to keep me cool. Austin called and I was talking to him. So while I was talking to him, I just went ahead and put on my brows. So I used this and I'll show you what I do. It's just, it's so simple and it's so quick. My brows used to take me so long. It was always the longest process. And now that my eyebrows are like grown out and thick, I just literally do this. Sweeping motions. It doesn't take any time. I know it looks really dark right now, but that's because I don't have any eye makeup on, so I look crazy, so just ignore that. But anyway, so this is where we left off. It is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So I took off the little seal, and when you open it up, it's like this, and it has a little bouncy net right there and already oh my gosh that felt so good oh, it felt so cold okay I'm making sure that the concealer is not creased I'm dipping the beauty blender in so I've got that much guys when I put my finger on my face it felt so cool that was awesome oh my word oh you guys, this is my new favorite. That is the coolest feeling thing ever. And I know this is not a new product either. It's a new product for me. And so if you haven't ever tried it, you've got to try this. You have got to try this. I'm not kidding you. If anything out of this video, you've got to get this. It feels amazing on your skin. Amazing. So I got another. So I'm assuming, yeah, it is translucent. I don't see any color. And around the nose, I'm going to do a little bit on the nose. Okay, hang on. Now I see right here, it feels a little bit dry there now that I am paying attention, but but still, as an all over powder and under the eyes, yeah, it, I like it. It feels really, really good. Becca, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, um, since I don't ever like my face looking this flat and this uncolorful, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go in with the bronzer that I got. I got this e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. It is forever sun-kissed, so you just take a fluffy brush, obviously, and give you a kiss of sun. This is the bronzer shade, so it is pretty light. I don't even know, but this is the only shade that they had on the shelves, and it's e.l.f. I think I told you that. It says it's long-lasting. A small contour brush like this, and put it...
I want to give my face some definition before I put it everywhere, basically. Oh, I love this too. I just got a bunch of amazing products. It's not orange at all. I love that. It's very cool tone, so it's perfect for contouring right here at the cheekbone and not making you look orange. So I really, really like that. Now I'm going to take my Eco Tools brush. I'm just going back over top of that, but I'm also putting a little bit on the cheeks. Everything that I've put on my face so far, I've been loving. Like, I haven't found anything that I don't like yet. So this is really, really fun. The next two things that I've never tried before, I have tried Ace Beauty before. Love my Ace Beauty palette. Love it. This is the Ace Beauty palette that you've seen me use on Instagram, previous video, all of these beautiful colors. I love Ace Beauty. I think I want to incorporate this palette because this is these are new. There's a silver one, which I don't want to use the silver one. I'm just not a fan. I might keep that for Halloween makeup, but I just don't. I just prefer not to put silver on my eyelids. But I do love this pink shade, and these are very moussey and bouncy and moist and wet and sparkly and beautiful. <laughs> Did that annoy you? Um, so when you feel it, it's just, it's stunning. I mean, come on that's gorgeous. I do think that I'm going to go in with the shade Poppy from this palette and blend them, blend them, <laughs> blend out some of that shade and then I'm going to go on with the glitter. So I'm cheating a little bit but I'm using Ace Beauty, same thing. So I had a line right there of concealer I think. So right there's a little bit splotchy. I wiped off what's left so that way I could really diffuse this out. Okay, now I'm going to apply it with my finger. I feel like these same with ColourPop. ColourPop has similar things and it just does better with your fingers, so. So I didn't get any fallout with that. But I need another swipe because that's not pigmented enough. I like that. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried a pink eye look. Do you rock it or are you too scared to try it? I want to know. How many of my viewers would do a color like this? Like, if you got a hot pink color like this in your boxy charm, are you gonna put it on and rock it out, or is it something that you'll just give to somebody else? I would love to know. I'm going to pick it up with a brush just to see what will happen. Oh, I was wrong. It goes on wonderful with a brush. So the ColourPop ones do not go on good with a brush at all. You have to use your finger. You can definitely use a brush with these Ace Beauty ones. The next thing that I'm trying out, which I'm super excited about, the Big Ego Tarte Mascara. The box has a really cool before and after on it, so it looks like it gives you very oomph lashes. Twisted Double Fiber Bristles for max pigment load, lash loving ingredients. There is the applicator. That is a big ol' wand, I tell you that. I like it. I obviously do a million coats of mascara, so I need more than one. I don't know if there's any mascara in the world where you just do one and done. Maybe it's because I'm in the habit of just applying and I apply so many coats, but I'm not wearing lashes today, so I have to make sure the mascara is giving me all the umph that I want. I like to go on top of my lashes to get some extra volume and length. And I can't with this applicator because it's so fat. I feel like this is a mascara that I would use in combination with another one. Maybe a skinnier wand so I can get the length I want. Oh, it's just harder. Now, I'm going to try a lip product. This is the Lip Liner by Steve Laurent. It's a pencil liner in the shade Vogue. It's a very pretty color. Very smoky, mauve -y. It's a very pretty fall color. Basically, yes, I'm using this liner as the lipstick. I'm going to put a chapstick on top of it. It's rare that I do that, that I use a liner and then make it a lipstick. But if you didn't know that, you can just use a chapstick and it becomes a lipstick. I like that color. I don't like the color with the eyes because I already have pink on for this video. And for the sake of me trying out that liner, 
um, I'll do it, but I do like liner. The next, and I believe this is the last product I have to test, is the Mega Honey Makeup Obsession Highlighter. This baby, they've got three different options, maybe four different options at Target by the, make. I guess it's the Makeup Obsession brand, new brand that I never noticed before, so I don't, let me know in the comments how new this is if you know. If I can get the sticker off, we can apply it. Yes, honey. Look at that. What are you, what is this? Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Did we just find our new favorite highlighter? I think we did. <laughs> mm, I don't know which one I wanna use. I think I'm gonna use this one because it applies it heavier and I want a heavy highlight today. Stop it. Stop it. What is happening? I look like a glow stick in a good way. Ooh. Why do I look so pale on the monitor, first of all? I don't look this pale in, in real life, I promise. Maybe that's why the lip color on the monitor is throwing me off because in person it doesn't look doesn't look bad. I think I did too much on my forehead. Oh my goodness. I will be here for the rest of the day painting myself in this highlighter, so I love you. Go get this. Go to Target today. Go get it. Then you need to Instagram me that you just went and bought it and that you love it and that you look like a glowing stick woman goddess. I love it. I had a good feeling about it. I just, you know, when you just see a product and you just vibe with it and then you just know that honey, that is going to be a good, I mean honey. It says honey on it, like we spoke to each other. Okay, well that is all for today's video. I am so excited that I love everything that I tried. I really do. I think the foundation so far so good. It's wearing good, it blended in great. I still look a little bit more pale on the screen than I do in person. The um, blendability of it, the coverage is definitely buildable, so I do have to use quite a bit of it. I do see a line right here creasing around my mouth, so that is the foundation. And I don't think any of my other foundations do that. So I don't know if that is the foundation or the powder. Because I know I did put powder around here to find out like the real true what product is it. It definitely even could have been this one. We don't know until we try all of them separately. So I can wear this under my favorite foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible. I can wear this with my other primer that I love just by itself so I know. I can put this over top of a... a I can put this over top of a foundation that I already know I love and then see how it wears with that. I just think that you gotta be careful. Don't put too much of this on because it it's very easy to fall in love with this like I just did a second ago and I was like pop, 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 pop put it everywhere, put it everywhere um, because it feels so good and it's such a cool product and I just love the way it looks on my face and the way that it felt and it like melted in so it like, I just love it. So. It's easy to get carried away when you love products so much. I even love the bronzer. I think the bronzer is a very natural, pretty shade. It's not orange whatsoever, so I do like that a lot. If you have not seen my Honest Beauty video yet, if you didn't see me try out this, and if you didn't see me try out this, this is the Midnight Reflection Glow Powder. These two are new favorites of mine that I just carry around everywhere now. I've been using it since that video because I love it. So go check out that video. I tried a bunch of other products too. So if you haven't seen it, it's linked right here. It's also in the description box. So go watch that video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of these as well, because I do want to continue to try out the Honest brand. Let me know in the comments what I need to try. Let me know what you try and end up loving or hating. You do have to go get this guy. Out of, out of anything though, you have to have this guy. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun testing out all these products, a lot of new products that I love and that I'm excited about and that I get to add to my crazy, insane makeup collection. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like first impression videos, if you like this video in general. 